My name is Patricia Arango. I am the Executive Director of Central Alberta Sexual Assault Support Center. And I would like to talk to you about No Secrets, which is our part of our education programs. We attend the schools from kindergarten to grade four, teaching the kids how to be safe. Um, I want to clarify the difference between um, what we are doing. We are no uh, doing sexual education, this is sexual assault prevention and the idea is to empower the kids to let them know how to say no when someone approach them, touch them and make them feel uncomfortable. We want the kids to be able to say uh, no, I don't want it, it's important for them to be part of the safety. Uh, please teachers, principals, school counselors and parents open the door for the program and that is important for us to have access to all the schools in Central Alberta. My name is Laura Hamidat and I'm an educator at Central Alberta Sexual Assault Support Center. I educate children in classes from kindergarten to grade four. It's a support service um, that teaches body ownership in regards to physical boundaries, safe touches and unsafe touches, safe secrets and unsafe secrets, and proper names for body parts, including private parts. I'm here today to talk to you about safe touches, unsafe touches, safe secrets, unsafe secrets, and most importantly, we will learn the proper names for body parts, including private parts, okay? We play a game called thumbs up and thumbs down touches. We have five safe touches and five unsafe touches. The children will hold their thumbs up and thumbs down sticks and they get to decide if it's a safe or unsafe touch. Can you give me one unsafe touch? Uh, heading toward them. Heading. Heading is not safe. Good job. Go ahead. Pinching. Pinching, yes, absolutely. Good job. So all the touches you said, they leave bruises from the outside. When someone tries to touch you on your private parts, that leaves a bruise from the inside. Preventative measures about sexual abuse will help us to raise an educated generation that has power over predators. And there's one very, very important rule about private parts. No one should look at, no one should touch, and no one should take pictures of your private parts. Can we say it all together? No one should look at, no one should touch, and no one should take pictures of your private parts. Okay, here comes a tricky one, so let's push the thinking buttons on. Okay, here we go. Let's say you were at your friend's house for a sleepover. So your mom, your dad, your teacher, grandma, grandpa, the doctor, the lifeguard, the coach, and police officers are not there. They're gone. It's only you, your friend, and their parents, okay? Through scenario examples, the children will learn how to react if they ever find themselves in an abusive situation. You better let me examine your private parts or we know more friends. What do we say? No. no. Is that a good friend? No. no. I would go um, tell my parents. Thank you. Between their legs, boys, baby boys, and men have a penis and two openings. They have an opening at the end of the penis where pee comes out and an opening where poop comes out. Everybody pees and poops in diapers or potties or toilets. That's what people do. The children will learn the importance of memorizing mom's phone number, dad's phone number, and their home address. So can we make a deal? Can we learn at least one phone number and our home address before the end of this year? Can we do that? Maybe your teacher can help, but it's something we learn at home, so go home and ask your mom or dad to teach you that, okay? 
So if you have your mom's phone number or your dad's phone number, your mind, no matter where you go, you can always call for help. Once again, I encourage you to schedule your presentation as soon as possible so you can help us protect your children.